The idea of a cure for autism is an incredibly divisive and controversial subject throughout the community of people on the spectrum and those related to people on the spectrum. It brings out anger on both sides. Those who support the idea of a cure want their autism spectrum disorder, or the ASD of someone they love, gone permanently. They see or experience the severe difficulties that can come with being on the spectrum and desperately want it to change. Many who are against the cure believe that the differences in autistic people, though they often include difficulties, can also produce wonderful benefits. Many believe that autistic people have something inherent to their being that is beneficial to society which should be included rather than stigmatized and targeted for removal from the gene pool through genetic screening. Personally, I am against the cure, but I don't resent anyone who is for a cure and feels that way due to having personally gone through or witnessed the severe difficulties that can come with autism. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and in this video I'm going to share my thoughts on the potential social and cultural implications that come with the talk of a cure and with the cure itself were that to ever actually be created. One of the things that concerns me, and many other people on the spectrum, is the possibility of the act of removing someone's autism, if it is possible, would effectively alter that person at their core of their being. It's important to remember that autism is a pervasive developmental disorder, meaning it fundamentally, cha fundamentally changes and affects multiple parts of what a person is, who a person is. Who I am, and who every autistic person is, is inherently connected to being on the spectrum. I'm a bit odd and I have very eclectic tastes. I love art and there are things like music that I understand at a fundamentally intuitive level. It would be easy for me to say that none of that has connected to me being on the spectrum, but I don't know how anyone would determine that considering the nature of autism. There are some people who would take the cure if they had the chance. For many on the spectrum it can feel like the drawbacks far outweigh the benefits, if there are any. Some would argue that any actually exist, and still others would claim that anyone who is able to claim that they benefit from, from, benefit from their autism isn't actually autistic. This is dangerously dismissive thinking and ignores the well-established fact that autism exists on a very wide spectrum. Some parents of people on the spectrum might feel that people like me take away from the experiences of nonverbal autistic people and those more severely affected than me, but this is not a zero-sum game. My attempt to foster understanding and acceptance does not take away space from your child. Each of us has our own space in society. I have the right to mine, and your child has the right to theirs. If you are a parent of a person on, a sp on the spectrum, please keep that in mind. You would fight to make sure that no one else took away your child's voice, so please don't attempt to do it to any of the autistic self-advocates out there. I think that what would ultimately be more helpful than looking for a cure would be to improve how society views autistic people, how autistic people are treated, to develop advances that improve the difficulties associated with being on the spectrum and to increase support services for people on the spectrum and their families. Whether you are on the spectrum or not, please keep in mind that there are people out there who actually hate autistic people, who think they are less, who think that in a perfect world, people like me, John Elder Robeson, Temple Grandin, Tracy Thresher, Larry Bissonette, and every other autistic individual would no longer exist. They would have never been born. When our organizations fundraise through fear tactics, talking about autism as an epidemic, they reinforce the societal view that autism is nothing but negativity and despair. Autistic people already have to deal with a lot of stigma and negative stereotypes. Most people either think we're Rain Man or that we're totally nonverbal and self-harming. The nature of autism, the fact that it exists on a spectrum, is still not widely understood by the general public, and it certainly doesn't help when people who don't have the necessary di diagnostic credentials claim that a person who has been diagnosed on the spectrum isn't actually autistic. Diagnosis is best left to medical professionals. There's a very good reason why the testing is so extensive and takes hours to complete, which is to make sure that it is the correct diagnosis. Even if I don't change anyone's mind about the idea of curing autism, I hope that everyone will at least work at having a respectful dialogue on the subject. We don't have to agree on it, but whether you're on the spectrum or you love someone who is, or you fall into another category altogether, please try to keep in mind that the reason why this is such a heated topic is because we're talking about people's lives and their well-being. Whatever side you're on, try to be a little bit compassionate towards those who you disagree with, and try to understand where they're coming from. Thank you so much for watching, thanks for coming by, and have a good day. Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. If you want to stay up to date with my videos, click subscribe. I release a new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do gaming commentary and review. 
I talk about my experiences on the autism spectrum, and I share my opinions and thoughts on a variety of matters. My hope is that, through my videos, I can help to dispel some of the misinformation, confusion, and negativity people have regarding autism. Thank you for helping me do that by watching these videos.